Chef. Oh. <coughs> oh. <coughs> Chef. <laughs> That's You're trying a, to kill me? That's the real deal right there. Welcome back to How To Foodie Nation, the show that teaches you all the how-tos about your favorite Trimbegonian cuisine. I'm Kazian, and today, Chef Jason is going to give us the secret to his hot, hot, hot pepper sauce. That's right. So let's get started. Hi, Kaz. Mm -hmm. Of course, pepper sauce. Pepper sauce. You're not a trainee unless you put some good pepper sauce on your food. Mm -hmm. and, you know, eating doubles with it, Chinese food, curry, Creole food, you name it. Anything. It's like our number one condiment. Yes, yes, yes. I think... Pepper sauce, ketchup, mustard, all those are great things that we love. For me, it's pepper sauce, pepper sauce, pepper sauce. Yeah, but you are salt girl, so you just like it hot on your I like it hot. <laughs> Speaking about that, we're going to make it extra hot today. So mm -hmm. let me just talk about some of the ingredients. Because we have some uh, scotch bonnet peppers here. Scotch bonnet. Just remove the stems already. Okay. We have about maybe 15 here. Of course, you could use habanero peppers. Mm -hmm. Pretty popular in the United States. Are uh, there any other peppers that you can use? If you're real bad, some good scorpion, Maruga scorpion peppers. Whew. Piss in your waist! <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna stick with this because I know even all my friends in Jamaica, they use a lot of scotch bonnet peppers in their drip seasoning. Also. Right. But uh, just to deal with pepper sauce here, right? Okay. We have our blender here. Mm -hmm. And what I need to do is help me put some peppers inside here. Will do. Just put them in there. Just put a few. We're gonna do this in batches. Okay. Then we put like about half of it. We also have some shallow benny that. Great herb that we love. That ubiquitous herb in Trinidad and Tobago. Obviously, that nice pungent vibes. It's very sharp. Right. Also known as culantro. Also. Mm -hmm. So, if you can't find shallow benny or culantro, uh, I made this in Canada once and I used cilantro. Okay. It worked very well. So, a little bit of a shallow benny inside there. A very rustic approach. So, just gonna put a little bit in there. And garlic adds a bit of a rough heat because it's in its raw form. Okay. So, I'm just gonna add a few inside there again. Full clove. Full cloves of garlic. Mm -hmm. All right. Um, yes, ginger and carrot. Carrot? Carrot is one of those ingredients that you could put in pepper sauce. I know there are a lot of different ideas of what people put in their pepper sauce. Mm -hmm. Ginger goes inside there. Ginger. So some, and these are all warm when you really think about it. Like herbs and herbs that you add. Yeah, things that give you that warm feeling Tingy inside. Tingy feeling and that's what pepper sauce gives you, right? Some carrot, mm -hmm. maybe like about one inch of carrot inside there. And the carrot also adds a little bit of carrot. You can see the little studs of the carrot pieces inside there. Okay. Very nice. Uh, lime. Of course, when making good pepper sauce, people say, well, I like lime pepper sauce. Mm -hmm. I like the acidity inside of it because it's that twang, that... It's mm. essential. That is very important. So we're going to go in a little bit of lime juice. You want to squeeze the next one for me? Sure. And this is the acidity. And all of this acts as great preservation liquid for the pepper sauce. Mm -hmm. So you get, you know, there's uh, when you do lime pepper sauce, it's a great quantity of limes go inside there. People use maybe even lemons inside there also. Yeah? Yeah, by all means. And, uh, you know, it's so many der derivatives of how people make pepper sauce. I see people put alcohol in their pepper sauce. Box. Really? Yeah, but, yeah, I was like, what? White rum they put inside of it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we're not having an alcoholic pepper sauce no. here today, people. We're doing just the traditional pepper sauce. And, of course, people have different ways of making their pepper sauce. Yeah. This is just an idea or just a concept that you guys could work with and build upon. A little bit of vinegar, again. A little bit of preservation liquid inside mm -hmm. it. That works very well. So what we need to do now, Kez, is just add a little bit of salt also. And pop it up. Blend away. And I need you to pulse it first. Okay. Pulsing distributes the ingredients evenly, and then we want to run it on full grind, maybe like on medium speed. So let's okay. do this. Okay. So at this point, we use our spoon and we go down inside there. And we just sort of break it down. Mm -hmm. And you gotta be very careful because this is hot. Alright, yes, yes, so, turn off. So we're gonna put the rest of the ingredients inside. Okay, dokey. More okay. peppers. More peppers. Chef, I smell it. I smell it. I taste it any, even. If you have any sinus or anything like that, clear. Nasal problems, mm -hmm. you're good to go. Mm -hmm. Make this pepper sauce. <laughs> the rest of the ginger inside there. And the garlic. And then we're gonna put it back on. Sure. And we're gonna blend it again. Let's do this. I think we're good there, no cares. You think this so? Thing. I like my pepper sauce with a little bit of character, like a little bit of texture inside there. And I mean, you're not, I'm not making soup. Ooh, <laughs> chef. Ooh. <coughs> <coughs> Whoa. <coughs> chef. <laughs> you're trying a, to kill me? That's the real deal right there. Real cooking here. 
Nevertheless, that's pepper sauce for you. If you don't do it, I really hope not to be blended something wrong. It's not good. Right, that would be Mickey, good. Mickey Mouse pepper sauce you're making. Mm-hmm. But this is some serious stuff right here. You smelling that? Chef, what you call in this pepper sauce? Well, if I have a brand of pepper sauce, I go and call it Run Quick. Because when you eat it, you're sure to go Run Quick. I want to run right now, Chef of Fright. Mm. <laughs> Listen, people out there, if you want to make a pepper sauce, mm-hmm. comment below. Let Please. us know. That if you have a pepper sauce, what would you name it? What we want to know. What are you calling it? I you call Run Quick. Because when you eat it, you're sure to run quick. <laughs> <laughs> we take this out. Yeah. As you can see, great character it has inside there. And we need to decant this into some jars. Yes. Because we're going to store it. Got it. I guess so what's going on here is I need you to mm-hmm. put these in these jars. Yep. These jars were sanitized and sterilized earlier on. I just get some boiling water. And I place the jars inside it for 15 to 20 seconds just to kill any microscopic bacteria that may be inside it. Because when you're doing pepper sauce, you want to ensure that the jars or whatever vessel that you're storing it in mm-hmm. is clean. Yeah, that's so important, right, Chef? Because we're going to be keeping this on the counter. and Chef on the counter? Now, my granny likes to put her pepper sauce in the sun. That's because your granny wanted to cure and develop even more complex flavors. You put it in a see. nice warm environment, like on the fence, and the sun hit it for like 10 years and 15 years. <laughs> <laughs> I see people have it for years, and I'd be like, that's still good, that's vinegar. Well, then surely the heat actually develops the flavors a little more, so the ingredients are able to leach out that flavor. But you can leave it on your counter also. Mm-hmm. And every day you just take out some, or you can store it inside of the chiller. And uh, again, sauce for an indefinite period of time. It does have lime juice in it and also vinegar. Chef, this little bottle is for you. But I find this big bottle is for me. You're taking that down. Mm-hmm. All right, all right. So cover it up just like that. Good to go. And look at the great yield we got on this. Nevertheless. You could easily make pepper sauce if you're going away and you're carrying it to anyone back in, you know, the New York, United States, anywhere. Or you could be like me and use the whole jar for yourself. <laughs> you're giving people the ideas. They could take this and they could sell that to them. I mean, we, we, could, we could sell your recipe. Run quick. I mean. Oh my lord. Uh, anyway, that's what this show is about. That's what How To is all about. Showing you how to make some of the greatest fundamentals here in Trinidad and Tobago throughout the Caribbean. Definitely. So guys, we want to know. Tell us what you put in your pepper sauce or what you'd like to try. I use morai in my own. And my grandma uses karaili. I've seen okra. A little strange, uh, but it's all to your preference. I let mean, us, it could work. Let us know what you use and what makes your pepper sauce so distinct. Be sure to tell us. Until next time, bye-bye.